And it's time to talk a little decathlon with you here this morning and our conversation with Josh Krug and Daniel Roan brought to you by Marcus and Mac, a law firm representing injured people. And we're going to punch them up here on the board. And they should both be with us. Daniel, Josh, you here? Yes, sir. Good morning, Todd. Beautiful. It's good to have you both with us. Uh, Daniel with the YMCA of Indiana County. Josh is with, well, he wears a lot of hats. Uh, and, <laughs> and, and, well, and, today, and I'm still with the Indiana County Office of Planning and Development today. There you go. There you go. Uh, well, that's good news. Uh, so let's talk about the Indiana County Decathlon. Uh, this is an event that has been going on for a number of years now. Of course, it it took a hit last year from the pandemic as well. But uh, back up and running and, and running strong, huh? Uh, absolutely, uh, Todd. It, it is running strong, although in, in a modified way, you know, out of an abundance of caution still here in 2021. Uh, you know, just thinking ahead uh, during 2020, uh, thinking ahead to this year, we made the tough decision, you know, to uh, take all of the walks, some of which were from uh, last uh, last year, uh, and modify them for, uh, for a self-guided. Uh, so all the ones that could that lended themselves to being self-guided, we we modified them. We added in some new ones for this year, and we we have a full, uh, you know, a full list, um, really a, a variety of different walks for people to do. Uh, between February, which had already started, and, and June 4th is what we're hoping people can get out and, and uh, get, get on the trails and, and get in the parks and all these variety of uh, places, uh, also in some of the built environments throughout Indiana County. Yeah, and Daniel, of course, the YMCA jumped on this one right away, didn't they? This is, this is tailor-made for the YMCA. Oh, it's incredible. I mean, anything that we can do to just push, um, you know, activity and fitness, we're going to be all behind. Um, I think the team that we had, that put everything um, together um, throughout the past couple months um, that was led by Barb and, and Josh um, was just incredible. Um, lots of great uh, types of walks we're doing, um, a couple of fitness challenges as well. Um, just very, very cool stuff that we're all putting together, and, and the YMCA is 100% behind this. Yeah, absolutely. So let's learn about some of these events and, and where we can actually get a look at them and, and understand how this is all going to work this year. Who, who wants to take that lead? I'll, I'll do that, Todd. This okay. is Josh. And uh, so at icopd.org, you hear me say it a lot on here, but uh, that's our main page for the planning office. And actually we have a link on the main page that will take you to the WalkWorks page. Uh, the WalkWorks, Indiana County WalkWorks, uh, is the group that uh, puts on the decathlon, has uh, for the last five years, is the fifth year for, for the program, and uh, you can find all, you can find a flyer that includes all, um, you know, and information about each of them individually. Uh, we rank their difficulty. We have the location of where to begin on that main flyer. So I uh, recommend folks uh, accessing that. But uh, one tip that we'd uh, like people to take note of is that you can download uh, the other flyers, there are individual flyers that we have created and are continuing to create uh, for each of the walks. So there, are, some of those have maps on them. Uh, they have po different points of interest, uh, pictures, etc. And uh, at the same location, icopd.org, you'll be able to download that. Download those. You can also follow the Walking Decathlon on Facebook uh, under Indiana County Walking Decathlon. And uh, for this year, we created a hashtag, I see Decathlon 2021. And if you post to that Facebook page a picture of you on doing any of the uh, walks or events at any point in time over the next uh, several months through June 4th, you are eligible for a, a raffle prize at uh, Nature Palooza, which will be an outdoor event uh, Saturday, June 5th. So uh, we're really excited to, you know, uh, allow people to – access these walks again, and um, if Daniel maybe wants to talk about a few of the walks individually, or I can, uh, I can do that as well. Hey, Daniel, take the lead here. What's, what's, what are the walks out there that uh, you really are excited about? Yeah, um, I mean, first and foremost is going to be our watershed walk. Uh, I think that's going to be just incredible. You'll see a lot of wildlife out there um, <clears throat> as the seasons begin to change a little bit here. Um, that's through uh, Marsh Run, Indiana's watershed. Um, it's going to be a, a really cool walk. Um, and then one thing that's re really going to be cool, and we all know the Hoodle Bug Trail, um, but just being able to take the trail a little bit further into the Blairsville area and so forth um, is going to be really cool as well. Um, you know, we're, we're very excited 
um, about Buttermilk Falls. As always, um, it's just beautiful out there. That's going to be happening in May. Um, Tanoma Wetlands is going to be really nice, too. Um, and then our Dragonfly Pond Walk at Yellow Creek is going to be uh, just incredible. Um, lots of opportunities to see uh, nature as the seasons do begin to change um, and just really going to get back in touch with, with wildlife that we haven't been in touch with for, you know, over the past year um, with these types of walks as well. Yeah. Okay. So they're segmented off into months on, on some of the literature. Uh, so you're suggesting, I guess, in March to take, uh, to take several walks, and then in April you want to put up a bunch of other different walks in May. Is that how it's going to work? Yeah, yeah, Todd, absolutely. I'll jump in here. Um, the flyer does, the, the main flyer does actually uh, have segments for each of the months, and those are recommendations. Uh, of course, uh, any of the walks can be taken at any point in time, but we are going to be promoting uh, individual walks during each of those months uh, week to week. So, for instance, uh, this week uh, what's being promoted through our Facebook and, and other means is the walk at the Blairsville Riverfront Trail. Um, so, uh, you know, there's a 1.7-mile trail, perfect for hiking and is wheelchair accessible. And uh, one of the uh, local um, <coughs> stakeholders in Blairsville, Dan Kelly, helped us, uh, as well as several others, helped us develop a really great uh, self-guided tour uh, for the Riverfront Trail. So um, also in March, we're, we're going to be promoting uh, the downtown Indiana Queen Anne House Tour, which begins at 10th and Church Street. And that's Dr. Kevin Patrick. Uh, who has put together a wonderful tour. Uh, he does a lot on Facebook uh, already, but we partnered with him uh, to, to create, uh, to um, provide that walk. Um, and also the uh, watershed walk and the uh, trail of the year trek. As, uh, I mean, and the watershed walk in March as well. And then there's several others that, that come up in April through, all the way through June. Yeah, they're really good walks, um, and I remember having uh, Dr. Patrick on talking about uh, the uh, the downtown Indiana walk uh, and and how informative that was. Uh, and Daniel, that's something that uh, I know the YMCA endorses as well is the idea that it's it's not just getting out and and doing the walking, which is certainly the goal uh, that that sort of fitness, but also the fact that you're going to learn something, you're going to enjoy nature, you're going to to learn about the history of Indiana County. The way that these walks have all been designed, there, there's something enriching in every single one of them. Right, right, exactly. And I think that's the point behind, uh, you know, what the decathlon and walk works do. Um, you know, any time that we can really kind of reinforce any sort of learning, along with exercise, um, I mean, that's the best of both worlds right there. Um, I think that we do a good job of kind of just putting everything together. Um, I know finding information on certain trails and things like that over the Internet is pretty difficult, um, but what walks, walk works in the decathlon do is they just give you all the tools to, to go out, find a trail, um, and really kind of take it and, and take advantage of it too. Yeah, absolutely. And the, I'll, I'll say this, that the website uh, put together by uh, the Office of Planning and Development is really, really good. Uh, really, I'll make sure to mention that to Raven Sanchez, our administrative assistant, who's done a wonderful job with the website. Way to go, Raven, because it, it's Absolutely. really neat. Um, this... thank, thank you, Todd. I appreciate that. Um, you know, th th there's a lot of great, great walks out there. Most of them this year are in the one or two category out of a three scale uh, for easy, moderate, difficult. Uh, there is uh, one that we, uh, we have uh, a call out of a potential a difficult section at Buttermilk Falls, but we really are promoting the McFeely Trail this year as something different for people to take advantage of out there at the falls while accessing the falls if they'd like to. I just wanted to take note of that, that there's really a lot of opportunities for people of all ages uh, to, to get out there. And one event being the fittest quarantine event, I think if we have time, if Daniel could plug that as well, uh, that would be worthwhile. Yeah, um, our fittest quarantine event... Um you know, with the catchy name and everything else, it also has uh, a pretty significant value to it. Um, so we are actually uh, accepting videos from families who are obviously in quarantine together or just cooped up, not out being as social as they want to be at this time of the, of the year. Um, something that was designed by um, the IEP exercise team um, of students over there, um, as well as by us over here at the YMCA. Um, what you'll basically do is it's a body weight obstacle course. Um, You'll be timed. Um, take a video of your team, your family, completing the competition. Shoot it over to me in an email. Uh, what I'm going to do is just kind of monitor the best times and so forth to so make sure everybody's doing everything correctly in the video. 
Um, and our prize is actually going to be a, a pool pass to Mac Park for the summer for the family. Nice. Um, so pretty neat prize there, pretty good incentive, um, and we're just really excited to, to take advantage of that, uh, that event as well. That sounds terrific. It really does, and, it, and congratulations to everybody that's working so hard to make WalkWorks uh, 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 still a vital part of Indiana County's fitness reg- regimen. It's, it's a good, good thing. It's a great, great program. Uh, and the decathlon is such a big part of it. The fifth annual Indiana County decathlon underway, icopd.org slash indiana-county dot walk works. You just go to the Office of Planning and Development page. You can click on the link there, and it's it's really easy. Right, Josh? Absolutely, Todd. Yeah, and, and you know, this is a part of our walk works program. We've got nine routes throughout Indiana County that people can take advantage of uh, all year round. And as you mentioned, you know, it takes an army to put this thing on, and, uh, We've got a great group of volunteers that, that really deserve credit, and I take my hat off to them uh, as well. Yeah, and, you know, the cool thing is that you can go to communities you've never been to, and uh, you can learn about them and, and walk them. Uh, how many people have been to Glen Campbell and Clymer and Ernest and Homer City and Indiana Borough and Blairsville all as one? White Township, Salzburg, and IRMC, I mean... And- it's, and you can walk them in an intentional way, you know, through through a built environment with points of interest, and it's, it's guided, it's safe. We, we've done walkability assessments on many of the WalkWorks routes throughout the county, um, and, and improvements have been made and, and will continue to be made based on those assessments. And then all these uh, walks that we put on throughout the county, you know, with our partners, you know, we do a lot of work to make sure that they are uh, going to be, you know, worthwhile, educational, informative, and, of course, you know, safe. Uh, for people to take advantage of. Absolutely. Check out the website. Check out the Facebook page for Indiana County WalkWorks. You'll enjoy it. And, uh, well, it, it's going to benefit you in a number of different ways. Josh Krug, Daniel Rohn, thanks so much for being with us this morning. Thank thanks you so much, very Todd. much. We appreciate it. All right. Have a great day. You take care. Thank you. It is. Take care. Thank you. It is. Take care. Thank you. It is.